Hi, I'm Martin. I'm from Alabama. Um, and this is my, my recreation of the Death Star Trench Run that I had five years ago, completely rebuilt it after it got destroyed um, by the Rebels. And, and here it is for you to enjoy. So we covered many years ago your original version, but it was much smaller and much less impressive than this one here. So take us through kind of the, the ways you upgraded it. Thank you for saying it wasn't very impressive. I much appreciate that. Yeah, so, okay, so it's it, the height of the back walls have increased by 33%. The depth has come out as well. The vehicles are very similar, but um, it's just a little bit bigger and longer. Uh, one of the main criticisms on the Beyond the Brick YouTube video I've seen was my turrets were too small. So I built a bigger turret. The top left one is a bigger one. The one in the trench is still too small. <laughs> so, um, And then I just made it a little bit more concise. So the way the actual Death Star trench was built for the movies was it was built in sections, I think four to eight sections. And I duplicated this in this build. So I started with we'll have here, like this section here, I started doing this, and you'll see this is duplicated multiple times throughout, and then as, as triangles, as, as square pieces, and then moved it. Um, I have some fun additions, there's a, a hidden whale in here, um, and an ode to Steven Erickson, who's excited about the Duplo whale. I will show it to you, Joshua, but not John. Oh, he's listening, so he's <laughs> hidden in there. We've got some mice, we've got some cats, we've got some sharks, lots of features that really shouldn't be in the Death Star that are here for fun. There you go. I know you've talked about in past videos a lot how much you like the Lego animals, so you've got to include them. I love all animals, especially Lego animals. <laughs> yes, yes, so correct. So what are some of the other design elements that you've included here, just some of the pieces you use? It's kind of like greebling or decoration. Yeah, so um, you'll see... So Greeblin's really hard to do to make it look good, I feel. I think I've done a good job, especially when the other one wasn't as impressive as quoted by Joshua Hanlon. Um, these little circular bits are everywhere. That, that's one of my core functions. Um, I, I'm trying to get the height with a lot of these slopes here. I'll pull that off so you have a look. Um, so you'll see these slopes everywhere, these little engine pieces, these little T-bars. I have a lot of all of these. So just kind of using them in different ways. Um, these little Technic pieces that stick out on, let me pull one of those off because I've got these everywhere, on those, um, those gray Lego clip pieces with the bits sticking up. Um, and then these, these bits. So please in the comments put down what bits they are because <laughs> I don't know. That's a bit wonky, we'll take that out. That doesn't belong there. Um, and then in terms of something that, that I used that, um, to, to make this geezer, that, this, this took half of it was in a window. It took me eight hours to build half of it. The other out half was about nine hours. So it's not a lot of time in it. But let me show you how it comes apart, yeah? Because we always like that. Oh, it's yeah, a bit we love that. One. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this section here is in, you'll see two very simple sections. Whereas last time I built it, I had a bunch of 16 by 12 plates, I think. So in terms of assembling it, it took a lot more time. So I've got two of these. What this enables me to do, if I want to, if I'm tight on space, I can take this and slide it in front of that section section to make it deeper. And then these back walls were a lot, lot dodgier in construction. They were Technic and plates. And I've, I've d dived deep into the IKEA world. Um, so we'll take this piece off. So there's two of these, right? So what you're going to see is all the IKEA boxes that are now propped up on their side. And whereas I might use Technic beams and plates and Duplo pieces, I've used a really quick turnkey yeah. piece, which is Lego. So still, still Lego. Yeah. And so now I can take these and sit them up on that section over there, the far section, so I can also then increase the height if I want to. So to change the layout. I'm trying to do that with a lot of my builds, um, where I can make it a dis different display in a different place if I want to. So. Yeah, make it more modular and interchangeable that way. So, Because you don't necessarily always maybe have this much length, but it's maybe deeper or something like that. Correct. Yeah, so I've had this in a shop window, or half of it was in a shop window. I would have had this space over Christmas. So if I had not been lazy and built the rest, I could have made it bigger and deeper. So for next Christmas, I'll probably do that. So, yeah. And um, you mentioned the turrets earlier. Take us through the design of some of those because you've got some interesting elements in there. Okay, so I'll pull this one off and I go there. So I actually pull off the turret piece. Um, so this is exactly the same as the one over there. I want to make the turret move up and down. And I, I looked at stock images of it here. These gears don't move around, but they have that effect of that it moves up and down. And then we've got a bunch of different tires to give texture here and to, to, to make it look like a turret, really. Yeah. Um, and then the one over there is that little bit bigger, so the one up top. 
but it'd be, it looks silly to put the one bit bigger in here. Now, if I get to the point where I increase the depth, then I could put a, high, a bigger turret in and have like the X-Wing and TIE Fighters flying around, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, so obviously th this section here on the, the base, you're just building up very straightforward, but here you're building sideways with all of this. So what are the challenges of that and uh, you know, having studs there to be able to stick stuff on and things not falling down? I just use glue and duct, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't use glue. <laughs> Um, so it's no different than doing it on the side because I just lay these on the side and build it because still, there's still studs there so it, it just pops up. The clutch power of Lego is very impressive without glue um, and there's not a lot of motion or vibration so they're not going to fall off so Lego clicks together nicely yeah, or yeah. snaps together closely. <laughs> And I was getting a little worried when you were moving this section earlier. These ships here are just held up by a few kind of clear pieces. There was a lot of movement going on there. Well, yeah, a bit wobbly. <laughs> However, let me show you this I am pleased with. So these were, this is a mix of two stock um, TIE fighters. One of the really old ones, which is the cockpit in here, and one of the new ones with these pieces. But it's, I've actually gone in there and oh, I think we actually have a full interior in there, like cockpit and stuff. But I've rebuilt the bottom and curved it. So see, we've got a little slot there. And what happens is we've got this upside down piece there that so this then just basically sits and cradles in so can have that motion that I want um, and then is, is solid enough to lock into place. This is definitely trial and error with, with raising things and I want to use Lego when I do that. So it sits there and it's like a cradle. So it, there, it can be wobbly if it wants to. It's, it's wobbly now, isn't it? Hang on. <laughs> Let me make it not too wobbly. And that one's a bit higher. Whereas these ones are just stuck together, but yeah. So. There you go. I don't think it'll fall off now. I hope not. We've got a long show ahead. Now you've expanded on this and, as we mentioned, made it more impressive. So do you have any plans to, to do anything like adding motion, like maybe uh, mot motorize the turrets, that sort of really? thing? You think it needs more? Yeah, it oh. does. It always needs more motion. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, okay. Let me work on motion. See, the turrets would be fun, but when you add motion and you've got wobbly ships, it would probably make the ships fall down. So no, it's not going to have motion turrets. <laughs> You're allowed to say yeah. no, that's yeah. okay. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah. All right. No, I'm just trying to push you to be more extravagant. Uh, yes, every, every show, you've got you've to keep doing yeah, better yeah. and better. Well, so what I did have on the last one, actually, when it was smaller, I did have, um, I had some wall sections on the front, and I had them, like cutouts to design you to look at it and look at different angles. Um, uh, every build, I want you to look further. The, the chief complaint I got at the show was we can't get a good photograph of what we want to get a good photograph. So when I'm at a show like this, I'm really catering to that. So someone can lie down there at the end, use a zoom lens, get a nice shot. They can be here, back out and get a nice wide shot as well. So that's actually one of the design things I changed on it. Um, I do want to actually make it double the height and then jack the fighters up a little bit more with a little bit more angling and the turrets. I do want to do that and it's, it's feasible to do it. Um, and I probably will, right? I guess. <laughs> Because you told Knowing me. Knowing you, yes. Yeah, probably will. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> why not? That's the attitude. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, that'll be awesome. So uh, it'll be cool to see this continue to expand uh, at different shows in the future then. But I'm glad you've been able to, to bring it out here and continue to represent for the Star Wars fans. I think this is your only Star Wars layout uh, this year, isn't it? So no, there's two others, but that's oh, okay. okay. <laughs> there's, there's more. I rebuilt my Jabba's Palace and I have a little baby world of uh, some, some Anakin scene. <laughs> um, but it is, and I'm, I'm going deep into Star Wars. Like, watch me go deep into Star Wars this year. It's happening. Just so you know, this isn't deep. It's, I'm going deep. There we go. We'll look forward to seeing that then. Thank you so much for taking us through the belt. You're welcome. Cheers. Thanks.